Hey guys, it's Daniela, and yes, bonus video this week. Um, today I'm going to be doing what I like to call a mini vlog. And um, so, basically, um, right now, today is the day that I'm going to be leaving for sleepaway camp. Um, and, um, and in last week's video, I announced that um, all this week I was going to be um, at sleepaway camp and I'm going to be gone for a week and um, so right now like as like not not as you're watching this because this video is going to be uploaded when I get back but um, but like right now like as I'm filming this video it is the day that I'm going to leave for camp and what I thought I would do was sort of like a video about like my uh, like sort of like kind of like the same type of video as I did like about the the video about my orchestra trip um, and basically um, where I just basically do like a before and after sort of thing so like I'm gonna be um, I, I'm gonna be doing like sort of like a mini vlog for like before I'm leaving which today um, which is actually today and when I get back from camp I'm going to be kind of like doing another like sort of mini vlog um so anyways you're probably wondering well Daniela why are you surrounded by all this stuff these are just all the things that I'm going to be bringing to camp I thought I would just basically just show you pretty much like an overview of like what I packed and stuff um and yeah so so I have my blanket and my pillow separate because it doesn't fit in this bag with all the other stuff that's in that's in it. So I'm carrying my blanket and my pillow separate. And um, then I have my instrument. You're probably wondering, Daniela, why do you need to bring your instrument? I mean, you're probably you're, you're probably not going to get a chance to practice there, are you? Well, uh, the camp I'm going to is actually like. Um, raining right now <laughs> but um I can literally hear it raining right now but the camp I'm going to is a music camp so it's like an orchestra camp so I get placed in an orchestra based on, a, on an audition and I'm actually going to do my audition today so um in case you didn't know this already I'm going to play the violin because I take violin lessons so I've been playing the violin for almost three years now um so I just got a full size violin by the way like recently so yeah also um, I just got a new purse um, this one is bigger than my other one uh, my other one is this one and I kind of needed a new purse because this like doesn't really fit much in it um, I got this one for Christmas of 2014 by the way um, so I've had this for about six months now and it doesn't really fit that much in it, so I got this one. So yeah. Okay. In my suitcase, I have this bag of like sunscreen and stuff, and I also have a few hair flowers in it. And I also have this. Um, I, I also have this bag. It has a hairbrush, hair conditioner, like basically stuff for the shower. Then I have this dress because. Um, I have to dress like formal for the final concert at the end of the week, um, so I'm so I'm just gonna wear this dress. And fun fact, this was the same dress that I wore to my piano recital. Um, then I just have like some clothes. I picked out six outfits because I'm gonna be staying for six days, um, not including today, because today's not really. I'm not gonna. Today doesn't really count as like. Technically, the first full day is tomorrow, um, so yeah, plus I don't really need to pack an outfit that I'm going to wear today because I'm already wearing it right now, um, so yeah, but I basically just have like some pajamas and stuff and outfits and I also have like towels and stuff and yeah, and next to my um, my suitcase I have my um, I have a Suzuki book because this book contains the piece that I'm gonna play for my audition and in case you're wondering the piece 
next I'm going to play is that one. It's called Concerto in A Minor, Opus 3, Number 6, Third Movement, and it's by Vivaldi. And yeah, that's what the sheet music looks like in case you're wondering. So that's the piece I'm going to play for my audition. Okay, so next I have this bag and it has this jacket in it because um, in the music building it can get kind of cold. So um, yeah, so obviously I'm not going to be wearing this outside because since it's summer right now, it's hot outside. So, but it can get kind of cold in the building. So yeah, um, and also at the very bottom of the back, I also have some snacks um, in case I get hungry. <laughs> so yeah now I'm gonna show you inside my case so when you open it up okay when you open it up the first thing you see is a violin and a bow because those are the two most important things um, so those two things are kind of obvious um, so yeah um, and this thing actually comes out like that which um, one of my biggest fears about this thing is losing it because you can take it out and so like I'm afraid to like I'm afraid if I like leave it somewhere um, that I'm probably gonna like lose it um, but this thing um, it contains my rosin and yes the rosin like came off the little thingy my bobber um, I just basically just take this and then hold it and then hold the rosin in there just like that so that I don't get my hands all dirty with rosin and then I have my oh then I have my tuner uh, which I don't really use this thing that much um, then I have I think this is like the cap to like a container for like rosin um, yeah this I, I lost the container so I just keep my rosin in there like that but um, I don't even know what this is, but it's like a bag with like these things in it. I don't know what they are. Um, so, yeah, and then I have a rubber band in here. Don't know why. Um, so yeah, that's what's in this little pouch thingy. Okay, you're probably wondering, Daniela, where do you keep your shoulder rest? Well, I keep it right here. This this brand of shoulder rest is Everest and I definitely recommend these because these are so awesome um, I just recently got this after having a shoulder rest that fell off so easily the brand of that one was foam f-o-m um, don't get a foam shoulder rest um, don't get that brand because I don't recommend it it fell off so easily um, and maybe that's just me but it fell off so much and it's just not very good but um, Everest shoulder rest you can get it in like different colors like you can get it in like whatever color you want and the connectors like the thing that like like these things um, they like stay on and the only bad thing about it is it doesn't have the um, the legs that like collapse but that's a small price to pay for an awesome shoulder rest that never falls off. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something really, really cool about my case. So, this, oh, this might look just like any any average secret compartment, but it's not. Because you can like pull this thingy out. Sometimes it's a little hard to pull it out. But you can pull this thing out and look at this. This is really cool. It has a zipper. So it's basically like a secret compartment that you can store in a secret compartment. And I think that's really cool. So you can just unzip that, just like that. And in here I keep my, um, my region orchestra cut music. And if you don't know what I mean by that, basically, um, in my school district or whatever, um, they have like this thing called region orchestra and you can like audition for it and um, they give you like to like they, they like give you the audition music like at the end of the school year and like the 
the audition is like the at the beginning of the next school year so they give you a long time they give you basically the whole summer to um, work on it and I think that's really helpful and so I'm just so basically at camp I'm gonna have some private lessons and so I'm just gonna work on my um, audition music um, so yeah and then I also have if I can get it out a fold-up music stand and this thing is actually like three parts so you can like take it apart and fold it up and you can like fit it in your case so yeah okay guys so I hope you enjoyed the first little mini vlog and stay tuned for the next um, stay, stay tuned like um, stay tuned for later in the video like for like after this like a after after this outro thing um, stay tuned um, to the rest of the video to um, watch the to watch the second mini vlog which I will do when I get back from camp so yeah Hey guys, it's Daniela and I literally just returned home from camp like like a minute ago. Like literally I um my my um Seven Supergirls theme board literally still says that this week's theme is strange and unusual character when in reality the theme is expectation versus reality. So I'm probably going to update it like literally after I finish making this video. But um I had awesome 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 time at camp and it's just been a blast it like it wasn't fun it was a blast like a blast is like more than just fun so I'm really really thankful I got to have this experience at camp and uh, from now on I'm actually gonna go I'm actually gonna be going every summer um, and I look forward to this every year this is my third year at the camp but uh, my first year, I was actually like only a day camper, so I only went there during the day. I didn't spend, I didn't stay there overnight because that camp is like the kind of camp that you can either um, just go there during the day or go overnight. But um, last year and this year, um, I spent, I stayed there overnight, and my blanket, and my pillow are literally not on my bed right now. Like they're they're literally they're literally gonna be washed. So I'm not gonna like, I don't, I literally don't have my pillow or my blanket on my bed. Um, and so basically it was an orchestra camp. So um, I heard someone say during rehearsal yesterday that it was, it, it was like an orchestra boot camp. I found that really funny cause I did a video a few months ago about violin boot camp. So I found that really funny. And my first thought was Seven Supergirls cause Seven Supergirls had a boot camp theme. Anyways. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, when I got there, I did my audition, and basically the audition just determines what orchestra you get placed in. So there's the Encore Orchestra, which is the lowest one, and then, so, this is from lowest to highest, the Encore Orchestra, Concertante, Philharmonia, and Symphonia, and I did my audition, and I also had to do some sight reading, too. Um, just to just so that they could see how good I am at sight reading and I had a piece that played I showed it to you earlier in this video um, it was um, It was one of the pieces from Suzuki book four So I did that and then the next day I found out which orchestra I got in and I got in Concertante and I was actually really happy and not only that but I also got first chair although later in the week we had a chair test and I ended up being third chair so I moved down but Anyway, I was so happy because for the past two years, I ended up in the Encore Orchestra, so I was so happy that I moved up. And I also started out in first chair, like I literally started out as the concert master. I'm not even kidding. I was so happy because I have never been concert master before, so yeah, but it was fun. It was really fun, but later in the week, we had a chair test, so I moved down to third chair, but... I mean, at least that's still good, right? So, yeah, the girl who started out in second chair um, ended up getting first chair in the chair test. So, yeah. Um, 
So yeah, and I had so much, so much, so much, so much fun. I had an amazing time at camp and I could not ask for a better experience than this. This, this was like, um, this was so amazing and I look forward to this every summer now. And um, yeah, and we, and, and in case you're wondering, uh, we slept in dorm rooms, so we had like a roommate and um, yeah. So that was um, a little bit of my experience at camp. I'm not gonna go in detail with the whole the whole week because that's probably gonna take an hour to just tell you everything that happened. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give this video a big, huge thumbs up because I had a lot of fun at camp. I had so much, so much, so much, so much fun being in the concertante orchestra and having a roommate and all of that jazz. So. I had so much fun, so please give this video a huge, immense, massive thumbs up because it will it would be awesome if you would give this video a thumbs up. Like, thumbs this video up however many times it's possible to even thumbs up a video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I want to reach 500 subscribers in... 16 weeks, yeah, I think it's 16 weeks um, from now, or like just under 16 weeks. So that's when I am aiming to reach 500 subscribers. Anyways, um, the the day that I'm planning on reaching 500 subscribers is the day before I celebrate my one year after reaching 100 subscribers. So I want to reach 500 subscribers before, or like I want to reach 500 subscribers then. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already like make that button that says subscribe make that button red or no the button is already red but make that button white and add the E or I mean at the uh, add the D at the end to make it to make it say subscribe just click that button to do so it will take less than a second I promise you and you'll never regret it because you'll get notified every single time I upload a new video and it's just gonna be amazing and it will take less than a second of your life so please subscribe to my channel because it doesn't take that long to subscribe to my channel anyways give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and if you guys yeah you guys want to be a good candidate for a shout out a shout out in my next video then just like this video, give this video a giant thumbs up, and comment down below. Have you ever been to a camp before? And if you have, what kind of camp was it? Was it a day camp? Was it a sleepaway camp? Was it a boot camp? Anything. Just comment down below what kind of camp you have been to. And if you've never been to camp before, just, just tell me that you've never been to a camp before. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. And I will see you guys, the subscribers and viewers, in my next video. Peace out, y'all. Woo!